okay i think you are clear this much then this one i already told you in series one and uh, we were discussing about the attainment calculation okay so 60 percentage of students they have scored more than 9.6 in co1 and 2.4 in co2 9.6 in co1 and 2.4 in co2 60 if 60 percentage of students score more than 9.6 in co1 and 2.4 in co2 it is attainment level 1 that is 37.2 that is 38 students score more than 9.6 in co1 and 2.4 in co2 it is attainment level 1 44 students score more than 9.6 in co1 and 2.4 in co2 it is attainment level 2 okay similarly 80 student 50 students score more than 9.6 and 2.4 so here you can see this 43 this is the 43 students score more than 9.6 in co1 so it is attainment level 1 because 43.4 is the next benchmark 51 students score more than 9 points not 9.6 51 students score more than 2.4 so it is more than 50 so attainment level is 3 I think this much you are clear so after you are calculating this attainment the same step you have to continue for series 2 evaluation then series 2 assessment same thing you have to continue for assignment 1 evaluation assignment 2 assessment when you are evaluating and assessing it then assignment 2 evaluation assignment 2 assessment these four levels are actually direct assessment okay then all these are direct assessment there is one indirect assessment i will tell you about that one the next we are coming to final att attainment in final attainment we are taking the attainment calculation through direct assessment as well as indirect assessment so after we are understanding series 1 the same format you have to continue for series 2 no doubt in that one okay and assignment also the same format you can continue it is not a problem and then so due to that is i am not explaining that remaining direct assessment tools in direct assessment i'll tell you then final attainment in final attainment the course attainment we are calculating among that one this much area sorry this much area is for direct attainment calculation so in co1 series 1 assessment it is 1 attainment is 1 in series 1 co2 assessment is 3 okay so it automatically comes here in series 1 co1 attainment is 1 co2 assignment attainment is 3 similarly series 2 it may be differ in series 2 assessment co1 attainment is 3 and co2 assign attainment is 1 remaining are blank so remains are blank because it is not addressing remaining so series 2 co1 attainment is 3 co2 attainment is 1 in assignment 2 assessment the series 1 attainment is co1 attainment is 0 co2 assignment is 1 co3 and co4 is 3 the same thing is copied to automatically copied to this column then average of this co1 through series 1 series 2 assignment 1 assignment 2 that is a co1 attainment through internal average of co2 from series 1 series 2 assignment 1 assignment 2 that is the co2 as attainment through internal like that average of this one okay so here you can see only one place we have used to co3 remaining uh, uh, sorry co4 co3 and co4 we have used only in assignment 2 in series 1 series 2 and assignment 1 we didn't use co3 and co4 so wherever we have used co3 if co1 is used to for entire four assessment tools then sum of all these four divided by four but if co 
to 3 is used only for assignment 2 then it is directly 3 itself 3 by the the same thing the same value is here but if we are using co3 for assignment 2 and series 2 then sum of these two divided by 2 that will comes here that is average then here also we are giving weightage this also depends on institutional faculty 30 percentage weightage we are giving to internal and 70 percentage weightage we are giving to university then 30 percentage of this average means first we calculate the average of co1 through all assessment co2 through all assessment co3 through all assessment co4 also like that then average of co1 co2 co3 co4 it is 2.125 or whatever it is for university we cannot set attain calculate attainment like this so by default for university we are giving equal weightage to all co maximum weightage that is 3 because we cannot set the benchmark we cannot set the bloom stars taxonomy level of question paper all those things we cannot do for university question paper that is from outside that is beyond our control then the 30 percentage of this 2.125 and 70 percentage of 3 that is given here sum of these two this is the final direct course attainment course attainment through direct assessment method this one and normally we are giving the okay stop here then we have to calculate indirect ass assessment indirect assessment means the feedback from students for that one also we have make a template here for each student we can ask the question that is in co1 i told you co1 is solve dc and face the circuit using kcl kvl then you can ask the question you can take the feedback do you believe that you are able to solve dc and face the circuit using kcl and kvl if students is agree strongly agree to that one it is three if students is agree it is two students is saying nothing nothing to say or neutral it is one okay it is one then if students is saying uh, uh, disagree with that one it is zero like that students can give feedback for co1 co2 co3 co4 that you can do by using a google f form just send one google form and set the questions and ask the feedback from students based on the student feedback we are getting different attainment then average of this column co1 take the average of co1 co2 co3 co4 for entire students that is the co1 attainment through indirect method this is a co2 attainment through indirect method co3 attainment through indirect assessment method so that we have copied to here this 3 2 1 2 2 3 2 1 2 2 we copied to here 3 2 1 2 2 average of this one is the final indirect course attainment okay final indirect course attainment then the final direct course attainment is this one final indirect course attainment this one then we are giving again weightage this also depending on faculty here we are giving 80 percentage to this one and 20 percentage to second one okay so 80 percentage of the final direct attainment and 20 percent of final indirect attainment 2.199.4 this is the total attainment total course attainment this is not co attainment course attainment then you are familiar with this table <coughs> this was the mapping you have done before starting the subject so just enter that mapping here co1 to co4 this is the mapping and it's that mapping you can just enter that mapping automatically average will calculate here okay then based on that average and this attainment attainment we will calculate the course to PO mapping the each course is contributing this particular course is contributing 2.6 PO1 2.4 PO2 1.3 to PO3 1.72 PO5 like that 
the equation if you want to know I'll explain that equation symbol means if average is 3 you can take this 2.59 as such here if average is 1.5 you can take 1.5 by 3 that much percentage of 2.59 to this point if average is 2 average is 2 then 2 by 3 person 2 by 3 2 by third of 2.59 to this point you can take okay if average is 3 the full 3 by 3 that is 1 as such you can take to here depends on that uh, by analyzing this formula you can understand that one this is the final attainment okay this is the template we are following so I'm just uh, summarizing you need not to do lot of work the simply first uh, you have to set up the question paper each question paper is to and uh, each question is for to particular CEO then if our question is there both the question should address, uh, address the same CEO each question for particular CEO or question is there the same CEO format mark distribution you have to follow for both the questions for our question based on that you have to uh, mark which CEOs we are using and what is the maximum mark from each part then based on that here also you have to set up values in the bloom taxonomy the level and the maximum mark after you are setting this much you can enter the students name and roll number and marks beware one thing if or question is there you need no you never enter mark for the two or questions then both or questions will add up together so you are supposed to enter the mark for one of the or question then based on the columns here you can set up the equation for each CO for CO1 sum of this column this column this column this column this column this column CO2 it is the sum of this column alone sorry this column alone then CO3 based on that you can set up then after that you are so only this equation this equation you have to set up remaining all all things are given here then after you are setting that one you can decide your own threshold competence level okay so based on that your own competence level you have to multiply that much percentage of the total co1 mark and that much percentage of this total co2 uh, mark okay so competence you have you set you set the competence level also then in the second sheet automatically this graph will comes it is easy then here also only one thing you have to do the benchmark how many percentage of students should get the more than this much level mark that also you can set up it, it can be 60 70 80 or 50 60 70 or 40 depends on your requirement that you can do so based on that you can set up the equation here if you're doing this much the work is over almost all work is over series one and series two sorry series one evaluation and series one assessment same thing you can follow for all direct assessment and indirect assessment you just take the feedback and fill the feedback values of students three to one what students are giving for each CEO that you can take using Google feedback and just attach that Google include feedback form also here that's all then automatically it will calculate all the values all the values finally you just enter the mapping just enter the mapping the course wise attainment you will get i think all of you clear okay thank you so much